So Yatriku backstory is about it started way before uh, 2017. Uh, I mean officially as a company, uh, 2017 December my incorporate boy go. But the dream started way back when I was small. Motse ekdam sur dehine motorcycles. Business gay four wheelers, mas ekdam interest boy go. That slowly changed to two wheelers uh, as I grew up. I think by the time I was in high school, I knew I wanted to be a part of a great design team. So 2017 was uh, when I got to be part of Don Kuvert. the industry The idea was uh, if I could get a bunch of people you know, uh, open to the idea of uh, making an exceptional product right back home in Nepal, it is completely doable. So the uh, idea is in 2016. In 2017, I made that leap of faith, came back, and here we are. Project Zero is all about challenging the status quo, especially when it comes to Nepali product design. Our Nepali Nepali product we are looked with this stereotypical lens, so we wanted to make a bold statement that this level of product design can be done here uh, in Nepal. Zunkalko market trends are uh, because EV is fundamentally a better tech. I mean, it's already evolved, right? But that, that doesn't really reflect Zunkalko uh, um, product or market. So we wanted to answer to those people who wanted to switch to electric but didn't want to uh, make any compromises. Project Zero is a ground-up design in-house team. So that means every little detail from very big fairings to sano nut bolt washer or something. So the model that we chose for Project Zero is to actually control a lot of elements that are really important or defines the performance of a vehicle. So this is the main thing that we have to do with the chassis, the driving dynamics, the riding dynamics. This is the main thing that we have to do in-house. We have to do the specialized components, which is like a standard norm in the automotive industry. We just took off-the-shelf components like suspension forks, tires, brake calipers. We have to do the specialized components. Collaborated with our technical partners, Aru. Aru Kura Junze really gave us the control of the performance, and they were all done in house. Uh, lack of industrial support, shortage of talent pool. But is to is maze ki problem boy. And that is either we had to be very vertically integrated company, zaze ami or sabbe kura ami afele gone boy. Or we had to outsource some of our designs to some uh, built to print generic companies or who uh, manufacture our parts for us. So ami or ko model se aile project zero ko lai teeni sa. Maybe due to he industry thayna or because it's just too expensive to set up some of the manufacturing processes ourselves. So Project Zero officially kicked off in June of 2018. In this very short uh, one and a half years, uh, we have actually managed to pull off two uh, versions of Project Zero. July 2019, we took the first prototype to Nepal Guns, Summer Heat Ma Mazzali Test Korea. We refined that further to V2.0. And this one, which is behind us, is actually a pre production model that we are calling it. I'm here is a, right now, we are very busy setting up uh, production, factory design layout, or everything around production of the 50 limited edition bikes that we're going to do. Tuesday, that will be rolling out somewhere in summer 2020. Uh, I think uh, the problem of infrastructure is really a chicken and egg problem. We really think at IA3 it goes really hand in hand. So right now we are more focused to solving that problem from design perspective. We wanted to create a zero compromise a motorcycle. So I'm the key going to the number after product and bottom on the head is a we wanted to give enough range in one charge. So to say to a certain extent I'm like compensate going to the So product zero actually gives you a range of 230 kilometers in one charge. That is which is quite good benchmark for us Nepali. So another design element we are introducing in Project Zero to compensate the lack of infrastructure is a very powerful onboard charger. It lets you charge from 0 to 80% in a mere two hours. So that's like 100 kilometers of charge in your lunch break. Uh, besides uh, a very powerful onboard charger, we are introducing a DC fast charging. Uh, that will make us one of the very few motorcycle manufacturers to introduce this to their product line. This will allow users to cut down their charging from 0 to 80 percent in mere 20 minutes. Uh, that's like a very short coffee break. Project Zero comes with a standard 30 kilowatt motor that is roughly 40 horsepower, which will allow our users to go from 0 to 60 in sub 4 seconds. 
We have a 6 kilowatt hour robust uh, battery pack as a part of our powertrain systems. It can deliver a range of 230 kilometers in one charge. A design element that we really believe that will help us differentiate from our competition is what we call Yatri Hub. It's a part of a data ecosystem that helps our user to be connected with all the data that really matters. Besides regular telemetry data, we are equipped with powerful insights like navigation, how much fuel savings you have done so far, and carbon offset contributions you've made. So uh, we see ourselves as a core tech company that is just uh, building a motorcycle at the moment. In five years or ten years time we might be doing something completely different but very exciting stuff uh, like maybe four-wheelers, who knows. <laughs>